WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off of this Tiger Financial News Network at 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 61 at 35,049. You can see I drew this in yesterday. You've got this what we call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the falling axe formation. The Dow by Tuesday or Wednesday, it really has to be fairly soon, needs instead of breaking underneath a 34,900 support, needs very quickly to start moving up into the 35,600 or higher area by maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week to say it's going to make, and I drew this in, I had a question during my show about the pattern that I'm, I'm looking for, and I'm looking for this arch formation so that there's going to be a lowercase h, and it makes a lowercase m as it trades within a, a range, a trading range. If you look at the S&P, you can see the same thing here. S&P is now up 14 at 44.91. It, it's got quite a bit to go to go to the 4600s to start a move that says it's in leg C. It needs very much to hold the 44.82 area very short term. And then you can start to see this H go to a lowercase m pattern. You're looking at the QQQ, of course, got smacked yesterday with Facebook. Facebook was down even more earlier this morning. We're looking at the QQQs up 260 at 356.20. Uh, this does not look like a great pattern. This is the one that says sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly chart. No change yet. We're watching that monthly chart really closely. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell Small Caps, not doing very much, down 77 at 196. We're looking at gold, which was earlier on running quite a bit. Then getting smacked down after the uh, jobs report uh, came in, but now it's at up 1.5. This gold contract is stuck in a range, and it should be doing way better because the dollar, uh, unbelievable, the dollar has gone from the 97.40 area in the dollar index down to the low today of 95.14, and yet gold hasn't had a commensurate, what you'd think, 35 to 50 point high, uh, move, uh, push uh, higher. Look at crude oil breaking out leg D in the daily chart. This is really quite something up 2.61 at 92.8. Well, I'm going to have to talk about this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. And don't forget, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a moment, and we need to talk about bonds. Bonds are down even more. Yields are breaking out. 